a Christian mother will partner with God and her husband to build a foundation for their home. As one, she and her husband lead their family in worship, in prayer, in the reading of the word. They encourage their children in discussions about challenges and world events and life scriptures. Every morning she asks the Holy Spirit to reveal mm -hmm. various of cheating of Christ and at home. That's right. A godly mother is wise steward in her home, time, and resources, according to Proverbs 31 and 27. She watches all the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. That's, right. That's, right. That's one area that we stay far away from. Mm. Idleness. Idleness will dry up. Glory be to God. All your spiritual things that you work so hard for. So she takes responsibility for her resources as a plan for the purpose of managing her home and time. She relies on God and removes distractions like gossip, comparison, social media, movies. Spending her standards for God's giving life and find ways to glorify God through everything in her life. A godly mother is a disciple maker, mm -hmm. according to Matthew 28 and 19. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, mm -hmm. baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Like Hannah, as we remember the story of Hannah, when the Lord had closed her womb, but she trusted God and believed yes. God for her deliverance. Yes, yes. So she held on to the altar of prayer. Mm -hmm. And as she cried out to the Lord, as she went to the temple, and as Eli the priest asked her, Hannah, are you drunk? She said, no, I'm not drunk. I am a woman burdened and crying out to the Lord because I want my deliverance. I want to be a mother. And as she pursued, glory be to God, we know the end of the story. Hannah conceived and brought Samuel. Proverbs 22 and 6. She does not pass by inviting her children to take part in wondrous daily experience of communing with God. She raises her children to the light in God's word by teaching them scriptures, even the babies. She thinks of countless ways to help her children see and experience how the joy of spreading good news and salvation through many that do not know the Lord yet. Whether through neighborhood ministry or children-led missions, trips, she supports her children in their roles in every way. A godly mother cheerfully show, serves her family as unto the Lord. Colossians 3 and 23. And whatever she do, do it happily as unto the Lord. Philippians 2 and 14 also says, do all these things without complaining and dispute. As a woman missionaries, a godly mom recognizes she has been disappointed. But she press on. She continued to pursue, pursue the things of God, knowing that God will work it out on her behalf. That's right. And my last point, a godly mother prays for her children. Mothers, if at ever time we got to hold on to the altar prayer for our children. Because in our time when we grow up, these are some different spirits we got to deal with now in this generation. 
As we know how the enemy is after our children concerning oh, yes. their male and female agenda. Mm. So if at every time I encourage you, anoint your children. Mm. Begin to explain to them who they are in Christ. Mm. You're either male That's or right. female. That's right. So ground, uh, uh, ground, make them know that what is important as concerning their identity. That's right. So I encourage you, pray for your children. Mm. Colossians 4 and 2. Continue, continuously, earnestly praying. Be vigilant in it with thanksgiving. A praying mother intercedes for her children daily. She prays protection for her children and, and allow them, Father, to be covered in the blood of Jesus so that whatever may come their way, mm -hmm. we know that they are covered from every evil force in the name of Jesus. So as I leave these thoughts with you today, I encourage you, let us be bold, let us be strong as mothers, because it's not easy. I will not stand here today and say it's easy. Sometimes, oh my God, we say, God, we remind God, God is me. That's right. I'm living for you. But Father, I know that you are with me every step of the way. Because you promised never to leave us or forsake us. So my encouragement to you today, mothers, be strong. Know that God is with us. His promise is never to leave us or forsake us. So as we go through life's journey, hold on to the altar of prayer. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. So that's my encouragement to you today, ladies, mothers. Enjoy your day with family and friends, and may God be glorified. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Minister Ken. Characteristics of a godly mother. She builds a house. That's one of the key things. How a happy home. She built, she's not attached to idleness. You know we were saying the devil find work for idle people. That is not a god. That's not a character of a godly mother. She builds a house. She don't tear it down. And the thing about it, that scripture says she she don't tear down with her hands. Some mothers tear down with their mouth. They talk bad about their home. All oh, this man don't do this. All oh, them children don't do, do that. Their mouth. They ain't tear it down with their hand. They tear it down with their mouth. But the characteristic of a godly mother. She builds a house. Yes. And that's one of the things I'm running away with today. If you want a happy home, mother, stay on your knees. No who's with you. No who's hand you're in. And you are an overcomer this morning. Being a mother is not easy. I had to give birth to two kids. And them two, my God, God give me. I, I have to stay on my knees for them. I have to stay on my knees for them. I, I can't be say, careful one I have to stay in the closet for Ashley and stay in the closet for Leslie. It ain't easy being a mother. Because you bear them, you bear them, you bear them. Even though they have, I have two adult children, Pastor, and I'm still praying every day. God keep them. God keep them. God keep them. I don't know what it is right now, God, but you know. God keep them. It ain't easy being a mother. And so I know what Minister Kim talk about this morning, the characteristic of a godly mother. Sometimes I just want to sin. Yeah. I don't problem. I yeah. said, Jesus, if you give me this, let me go take him out. So I don't have to worry about this one no more. Yeah. But you can't. Mm -hmm. Remember I said earlier, we give birth to purpose. Mm -hmm. It's the reason why God gave me Ashley. He didn't give Ashley to Kim. Mm -hmm. He didn't give it to Marissa. He gave Ashley to me because what I have and what he gave me is for Ashley to have. Mm -hmm. And so mothers, you got to take note of that. God placed each child in you because what he have only can come through you. 